Okay, new for 2017. We've started using a new um, igniter on this two burner range for the Phoenix Cruiser. And I've had a couple of customers call me um, questioning how it is to light this. They say they're able to get it lit and then the flame immediately burns out or they turn the knob and don't hear any gas. So there are steps, one, two, three, four, five, six listed up here. But basically what you're gonna do is press in on the button turn it over until the flame is on high and then use the igniter and you're going to continue to hold the button for a few seconds and then you can let go of the button and the flame stays on now why is it important to hold it for a couple of seconds what's going on is there's a little thermal couple this guy right there and that has to get warm in order for the thermal couple to continue to allow LP to come through so just as an example if I go like this and then let go, it turns off. That's a safety feature. And the reason for that is, if one of these flames were to get blown out, the thermocouple stops being warm, and then it closes itself up so that you don't have a slow, dangerous propane leak building up inside your coach. So it's just a safety feature, but it does mean that you have to hold this for a second, and then when you let go, it stays on. And what's really cool is you can turn this burner all the way down to low or all the way up to high. And that might sound silly, but there are a lot of stoves that if you start turning it down near low, the stove just shuts itself off because it's not getting proper LP flow. But this is a really good range top and we're very pleased with it.